right, here we go. We've got a daily chart. First thing, always start with the daily chart. See that arrow? That's where the level came from. Nice. I don't see the actual trade there, though. Nothing stands out. There's a bit of an issue here. We moved up fast, and folks did too. This guy bet on a short. Good move. He bet on the false breakout. The asset moved over $20, more than 10%. So the local short trade worked out well. Stop loss is 6% of ATR, which is cool. Profits at 152. I'd aim for a bigger take profit here. Let me explain. When trying to trade the false breakout after a strong movement beforehand, you can shoot for 25 to 30%. For example, if the asset moved from $134.25 to $154.20, you could expect at least $5 to $6, especially with a small stop loss. With an ATR of 9, you could have aimed for 151 easily. Still, you took a solid take, but for beginners, going 3 to 1 is totally fine. All right, now for Marina Boyko. We've got a daily chart, stop and drop, the level confirmed by history, and a sell bar. Marina is on point. This is what we call a sell bar. When the entire movement gets sold, the bar is super strong, especially when it's on trend. Excellent setup. Good job, Marina. Great setup, 5 out of 5. The description's solid, the trade's clear, and the scenario's spot on. Fantastic trade, daily chart, and 5-minute charts. Beautiful. Excellent trade with short stop loss. Well done. Great level. It's clear where it originated. Great trade. Whenever the price closes below a strong level with lots of players facing losses, it's a good trade. Excellent. Vanya did a solid job. In a very clean trade, there's empty space below so he could have taken more. If you see emptiness below, split the trade and aim for larger take profit. Don't be afraid to go bigger when there is emptiness there. Really nice setup. Excellent trade. Well done. Well marked levels. Beautiful hourly chart with solid consolidation below it. Really great. Um, let's keep going. We've got the daily chart, the hourly chart. Looking good. Um, this is an excellent level. Uh, well done on setting everything up. Stop loss is 10% of ATR. No complaints here. This trade is looking awesome. One minor note though. You should have entered a bit earlier. You tried to hop in after the asset had already started reversing. Next time, go in sooner. From a standpoint of an hourly chart, this is excellent. Jasmine USDT. By the way, I recommended this one. There's a problem here. He went for it during a secondary breakout. After the asset starts going back, you shouldn't be doing this. You could only take it if the asset went here and then came back to this spot. So from the hourly charts perspective, the trade's not great. But from the daily charts point of view, it looks really good. Now for Nikita Belov. All right. Let's go. Excellent level again. Great. Nikita just got back from a workshop in Turkey and gave this to me. Perfect entry point. Awesome. Good job. The daily chart looks solid. The stop was set right behind the tail. Excellent. If you spot a situation like this, don't hesitate to aim for larger take profits. With emptiness or sharp movement below, you can go bigger. Beautiful work but you could have definitely pushed for a bigger take profit. Uh, all right, moving right along. Um, Robert Klischko, good job, man. Daily chart logs are looking sharp. Now, here's the thing. Let me explain where's the problem here. I don't even check out the trade and whether or not it happened. As you can see, the price has already gone up and down around the level. From a false breakout standpoint, entering when this is the case is a good idea. And here's why. That's because it is likely to be stopped over here, but typically the entry point is pretty tricky in spots like this. Honestly, I didn't even check below, so I'm not sure what happened. But since there's a stop here and the asset hasn't moved much, you can't really expect a strong false breakout. If you look at 0.65 to 0.62, the asset has moved about 5%. 5% isn't much. The question is, did I do it right? Well, here's the mistake. You see, I mentioned that the entry point probably wouldn't be great. And there's just a small room for movement here. If you're trading the falls breakout, try going for bigger bars. That way, the asset will have a pretty solid movement. If it doesn't, it will simply not have enough energy. Even though I didn't check the lower chart, I know what's going on. There are clear setups. See, a person nailed it here. Misha Salai, good job. Everything's super clear. 
Stop loss was at 7.5, maybe 8 points. Where's the take profit? How far did the asset go? Let's see. Yes, looks great. Here's where the short trade came from. Everything looks great. Check this out. When the price approaches a level with small bars, don't expect a trend reversal or a change in the previous movement's direction. Beautiful setup, classic short zone. Everything's crystal clear here. Check out where the stop loss should be in these setups. Excellent stop loss, take a close look. If volatility is dying down, the stop can be set behind the rollback. In this case, the stop loss was really solid. The stop was set behind the rollback, perfect. That's awesome, everything's excellent here. You see the stop loss was placed clearly and that's that. There was a huge take profit, so the setup is super clear and the stop loss is spot on. The huge take profit came in again the second time. Volatility faded just as expected. Great job and you handled it correctly. First of all, these are the tails of false breakouts, like the tails of rollback zones here. In this situation, you nailed it. Now, let's talk about uh, Valery Kovalenko. Um, the level's uh, spot on and the entry on this bar was really good. I'm not sure if he made money or not, but the asset definitely moved. Big thumbs up. You can see uh, the asset made a false breakout, uh, pulled back and then resumed in the primary direction. This movement is called primary. After the false breakout, there was no rollback. You see the take profit was really small. What would I do? Here's the thing. I'd set the stop loss a bit higher, but yeah, he might have been stopped out. From a trade perspective, this one's a solid A+. Plus. No issues there. You even place the stop loss a bit higher, but it just didn't work out. That happens. You should have given it a third shot, though. But it wasn't your fault. The asset just didn't move. All right, moving right along. Five-minute chart, hourly chart, daily chart, no issues. Everything was fine, except the asset moved a bit too much on the daily chart. For example, it went from 11 cents to 16. That's almost a 50% move. I wouldn't jump into a trade immediately. I'd wait and watch how the price moves around this level, especially since there wasn't a breakout on the first try. The trade gets a B, not too bad, but not amazing either, because the asset had already moved a lot. In cases like this, when the asset has made a big move, I'd expect the volatility to fade, but it didn't. 